Um, the next thing was Donald Hoffman. I buy Donald Hoffman's first part of the theory, which is typically the world looks nothing like what we experience it as. That is obviously the case. And uh, the uh, second half, uh, I don't follow. I say, uh, depends on in which way you look at uh, what he writes and, and, and spells out. So uh, the, the second part to me is this thing that uh, computers are an inadequate representation of what our brains are doing. Our brains are not computers, they are something else. And I think this uh, results from a misunderstanding of what a computer is. So he's, he's driving an intuition here that a computer is a digital von Neumann machine similar to a PC. And our right, brain right, right. is, is yeah. not organized in, in the same way as our uh, personal computers are. Uh, our brains are self-organizing systems. There are uh, oscillators and they use very different ways of translating uh, the information between uh, the different parts and uh, achieving coherence and so on than our digital computers are. But uh, this doesn't mean that they cannot be described as Turing machines. The Turing machine is too general for that thing. Basically, you're looking at a finite uh, state machine that can be used to compute representations and execute control functions. And uh, the brain is clearly in that category. And uh, what we can show mathematically is that these uh, the different instances of that category are equivalent to each other, which means there are mappings. You can uh, take a digital computer and uh, create a simulation of the brain uh, a virtual brain in that digital computer that behaves in the same way, in principle. And also, in principle, vice versa. So you can create a simulation of a digital computer in a brain, uh, but it's, this is much, much more difficult because our brain is uh, largely indeterministic. So it's hard to get enough determinism from the brain to keep a model of a large digital computer stable in it. And so we can only run relatively small digital computers in our brain. But using external tools, for instance, if you are allowed to use pen and paper, we can use our uh, uh, analog or our chaotic and indeterministic brains to run pretty large simulations of digital computers, but, but externalizing the memory and determinism. 